G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this session of Scoop School. Uh, probably answering one of the most uh, uh, asked questions in class, beyond class, out in the stratosphere. How do you pull the perfect soft serve cone? We're gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, before we do so, I do wanna thank our episode sponsors, which is Slices Concession. You don't even need to even hear anymore from me. Just click on the link down below. You'll go into a wonderland of near new equipment, used equipment, full store packages, slices concession. You got Evan on the west coast, you got Chino on the east coast. Perfect combination. Uh, slicesconcession.com. A lot of people ask questions about, well, portion control, how do I teach people to make the perfect cone? Really, the, the key to it is the firmness of the product. You've got to make sure that your soft serve machine is putting out a firm product that it's not working against you. Uh, you can probably speak to your equipment representative and make sure that it's working as it should. Uh, most product coming out of this soft serve machine is going to come out at about 18 degrees. Fahrenheit. Secondly, you'll want to make sure that you've got good, I call it clutch control. Um, look, a lot of the kids these days, can I just talk to you a little bit? A lot of the kids these days don't know how to drive a manual vehicle. And it's a shame really. Uh, I once saw a meme that said uh, a, a millennial anti-theft device and it was the gear stick. And, uh, <laughs> In order to use a clutch, you've got to kind of pull it down a little bit halfway and just get a feel for where it is. So if I pull this um, product down all the way, you can see that it actually can pump out quite fast. But if I kind of pull it down a little slower, I'll use the same cup. I can kind of control it. It's not all the way down. It's halfway down and I can kind of control the pace rather than pushing it the whole way down. So it's another thing to kind of get used to how your product and where that kind of sweet spot is on the spigot handle. It, we are using a gravity fed machine, meaning that the mix goes into the top. Um, it's a little bit easier to use than a pump or a pressurized machine where you've got a lot of pressure and force behind that product coming out. And lastly, it's about knowing where, what type of container you're filling and how to fill it. So I want to show you, before we jump into cones, I just want to show you in a cup what we're talking about. Now, what you want to do is, if you're filling a cup, uh, you can almost kind of, it's almost like filling a pyramid or building a pyramid. You want to start with a nice wide base and kind of work your way up to the point where you can kind of finish off that twirl. I will tell you also, whether you're using a cone or a cup, you'll want to have the cup right up close to the nozzle or the extraction port here. Don't drop it down here. I call that the dog poo principle. If you are holding the cup down here and filling it and then you extract it out, it kind of looks like a dog poo. And you don't want that. Uh, if I were to use that exact same uh, uh, product over here, it's a water-based product, so it's a little bit more icy. If I hold the cup up nice and close, and I kind of bring it down, you get a much, much nicer looking product rather than it just kind of flopping over. So whatever you're using, a cup or a cone, it's got to be right up against that extraction port right there. So when the product's coming out, it's filling the cup straight away. So let's do a five ounce cup. Now again, if you're looking at portion control, what you want to do is make sure that you're aware of how many ounces by weight, weight ounces, are in each turn because that will determine how heavy this weighs and you can really get it very, very good at determining what a product weighs by just the way that it looks. So what we're gonna do is start out with a nice round and wide arc and then kind of come in, slowly bring the cup down and then at the end, I generally just push the top of the soft serve up into the nozzle and back again. It kind of gives it just a nice little curl. Now I know that Dairy Queen's trademark that curl and you can't really put the curl on it but I think it just looks a little bit better than just kind of dropping it off. So we're going to start with our middle spigot here. I'm going to start off nice and wide 
and then as you're going in circles, drop the cup down a little bit more. Hard for me to see while I'm standing on an angle. And then at the end, just push it up into there so that you've got something that looks symmetrical. Uh, it looks relatively good uh, and you know the portion of it. Um, so last one here, let's do a cone. Now this is a Joy Cone. There are a lot of great companies uh, out there. Joy Cone is probably one of the biggest. This is a number 30 Joy Cone. This is probably my favorite size cone because you can put a five ounce, you can put an eight ounce serving on this. Um, it's wide enough here so that you can uh, do a variety of different sizes. Now, some people like to fill the cone with soft serve, other people don't. They kind of like to put that soft serve on the top. Personally, I, oh, I touched the mic. Sorry, Madeline's gonna go uh, in post-production. I like to fill it because I know personally that when I fill this cone and it gets up to that level point there, it's about three ounces. And every single turn on top of that is an ounce per revolution or an ounce per turn. So I actually fill the bottom of it here and bring it all the way up and kind of once it gets here then I can basically turn it and do that process like we explained before. So again we're going to start off nice and close. I can pull the spigot down halfway, fill the bottom of the cup first. So at that point I know that this is about three ounces. I could weigh it, but I've pulled probably 17,000 cones in my life, and that's about three ounces. So once you've got to that point, then it's basically just putting more turns on it. One, two, three, and then push it up into the spigot, and that's what your cone should be looking like. Again, it's a little hard when I'm not standing in front. But the idea is that you want a consistent, good-looking cone each and every time. We'll do one more. So again, nicer, up close here. Doesn't have to be open all the way. Now I'm filled the cone, so I'm now one, two, three, and out. And again, you've got something that's consistent, it's good looking, it's got a little bit of curl on the top if that's your fancy. Uh, and I know that it weighs about five ounces. I generally say five ounces, give or take an ounce. One more time so you don't think I'm a fluke at this. Um, fill it up. One, two, three. You've got to get, it's really just a matter of practice. Um, but again, get to know where the sweet spot is on that spigot, fill the cone up first, and then get used to doing those concentric circles. Keep the cone or the cup up nice and close to that extraction port there. And then if you'd like, give it a bit of a push up top. Um, what does it look like without one of the um, rosette caps on? Um, looks a little bit like this. It almost comes out in like a tube. I kind of like the rosette cap look to it, um, just because it kind of gives it that nice ridged effect. Um, but talk to your manufacturer about what different rosette cap styles look uh, better and what your options are. Uh, regardless of which way you go on this, a couple of things you really need to be aware of or be particular on before we sign off. Again, first is that clutch speed. Make sure you're comfortable. It doesn't have to be open all the way. Make sure that that container is right up nice and close. And then basically concentric circles down, push it up into the nozzle, and Bob's your uncle. You've got beautiful soft serve cones and cups. Look, I hope you've enjoyed this session. I certainly have. I do want to thank again Slices Concession. Click on the link down. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I've got a lot of great video there too, slicesconcession.com. Uh, let's try it again. Right here is our subscribe button. Why don't you click on it a little bit? Or just click on it once. Down here is the last video that we did and over here we'll take you to Scoop School. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.